The second candle of Advent is the candle of peace. Yeah. And you remember the words of the angels that came to the shepherds long ago. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace amongst men and women upon, upon whom God's favour rests. Peace is an integral part of the Christmas message. Uh, and Jesus quite rightly reminds us in the Beatitudes in Matthew 5 that you and I are to be peacemakers. As we discover, as we experience something of God's peace in our own lives, so we in turn are invited to become peacemakers in this world. Not necessarily peacekeepers, sometimes peacekeeping or the keeping of the peace can be sweeping things under the carpet, but peacemakers. So let me make a practical suggestion. It's often the case that after Christmas, tell, people sometimes tell me about the terrible Christmas that they had. Because when the family has gathered, uh, sometimes the old conflicts return. And whereas everybody had hoped for a quiet kind of time together, suddenly these old disputes between family members arise and the whole thing falls apart. May I suggest that right at the outset that we commit ourselves to actions of peace, that maybe before a Christmas meal we could pray and just ask that God's peace may be experienced around the table. Blessed are the peacemakers said Jesus. Make me a channel of your peace was the wonderful prayer that St. Francis of Assisi prayed many, many, many years ago. Where there is darkness, he prayed, Lord, let me bring light. Where there is despair, let me bring hope. In your home, in this Christmas season, May you be a channel of peace, not stirring up antagonism, but bringing a quiet word of peace and calmness into the home. And may God use you like never before. Peace. The peace of the Lord be with you. God bless you.